Welcome to December 7th, 2008, the first work day of the week, or some call it the day of the sun, or Sunday. Well, brethren, be time now to get into the Lord's care ministry, a light shining from above, day 341 of the year 2008. Well, brethren, it's time now to take hold of your Bibles and open them up and so that you can read a long chapter and verse with me. As I mentioned quite a bit, quite a few times, write the chapter and verse down so you can read the whole context at your own leisure. I don't want anyone thinking that we just take a little bit out of context here and there. Okay, brethren, open them Bibles up to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 21. He hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Here we're talking about Jesus Christ. Some call him Jehovah, Ye Yeshua, Christos, Yahweh. We here in English, we call him English. Actually, there's well over a hundred names in the Bible for the name of Christ, but we won't get into that here. Okay, let's go over to Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 6. If we go too fast for you, use the pause button so that you can find chapter and verse and read along with me. Isaiah 53 and verse 6. The Lord hath laid him in the iniquity of us all, or the lawlessness, or against the law of us all. That's what iniquity means both in the Hebrew and the Greek. Now let's turn over to 1 Peter, chapter 2 and verse 24. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes we are healed. Now let's read Romans chapter 5 and verse 19. As by one man disobedience, Adam, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. I want you to notice in this verse, read what it says, believe what it says. It says many, not all. Okay, Titus chapter 3 verses 4 through 7. After that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior, towards men appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us, by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. In this verse, your King James says, Say the Holy Ghost, but my God is no spook. Actually, the word is translated spirit. Okay, let's go over to Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. There is therefore no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 6. The Lord our righteousness. Final blessedness of the believer. Heaven and inheritance. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 15. He is the mediator of the New Testament. 
that by means of death for the redemption of transgressions that we are under the first testament which they they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance in the verse above don't get it wrong heaven and inheritance nowhere in your bible will you find that anyone but the lord jesus christ is the one that returns to heaven nowhere check it out there is my house and portion fair my treasures and my heart are there and my abiding home for me my elder brethren stay and angels beckon me away and jesus bid me to come Tom bidding you to come to his kingdom to eternal life in god's word only do we trust never in the tradition of men his a philippian pilgrim a workman for god a friend of christ god so loved the world john 3:16 God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Brethren, are you using this day to go and congregate with your fellow brethren this Sunday, this work day? The Bible says this is a work day not a day to honor him. He, the Bible says, don't honor me as they do their gods on their days. Leviticus 23 says, this day is a work day. It also says the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. Are you following him or the tradition of men? If you've been following the tradition of men, get down on your knees and repent. I know your friends, family, neighbors will call you a kook. You're following the wrong day. But they say at times I wish I could be like him. But get me down on your knees, repent of following the tradition of men. And if you truly want to follow Christ in your heart, the Father and His Son will hear you. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. With that, God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.